Hey guys, how you doing? So just a quick update on the game room. So to do one, a bit of a tip at the moment. So if I just stand in the corner, that is where I would normally sit. But as you can see, the cupboard that used to be there is now gone. So I tore that out. It was only a false wall, it wasn't attached to anything. So it gives me a lot more space. And it gives me the full wall back as well. So I've just painted that today. Just letting that dry off at the moment. Yeah, place the tip at the moment. As you see the carpet's up. And we're putting wood flooring down there as well. I thought it a complete change, just get rid of the carpet, put some nice flooring down. And yeah. So you get an idea of the size of the rooms. Right? It's absolute. And see the TVs on the floor, everything's all over the shop at the moment. There you go, that's, that's how I had the TV before, but that's coming off the wall, that's all going to be changed. So the idea at the moment, the plan is I'm thinking, put the sofa there under the window. And then what we'll do. I'll figure out some way of putting a unit there that can fit the CRT. So I'll be facing that wall. I'll have the CRT over in the right hand corner there. And then put the flat screen over to the left. But not bother putting it on the wall this time. Just put it on its stand. Have it there. Almost console set up. Then I've just got all that wall space there for games. So I've got to work out how I'm going to do the bookcases. I'm thinking probably going to put some shelves up on top of there as well. I can display my game boxes and figures and God knows what else. So I need some display there, so I want to display my PlayStation boxes. And then I've got the wall over there, next to the sofa, which will be there. Uh, what I was thinking is I'll probably put the small bookcase where that where the wall juts out there by the window. Thinking I might put that there, that'll be my mega drive corner then. And then I've got this whole wall for extra storage when I need it. So just taking that one cupboard out of the room has dramatically changed the design of the game room because it's obviously given me a lot more space now more options in terms of putting the sofa over by the radiator so I can now put storage over here and over there so going forward I'll have a lot more space a lot more options which is fantastic so there you go so the, uh, the next job tomorrow which make sure I walk back in the wall and get covered in paint <laughs> the next job tomorrow is going to be laying the floor so my dad's coming over tomorrow we're going to do that so I'll get that down and then once that's done I'll bang another update up for you and show you what it looks like I'll just show you where everything's stored at the moment in my bedroom it looks absolutely shocking it's just an absolute mess at the moment you can see everything's in here bookcases are in here all my stuff is just sort of crammed in here the best I can uh, see so I've got systems and bloody boxes and Christ knows what Mario's over there uh, got my Kirby over here I've just got everything so yeah, it's all, all stored the way the best I can at the moment. But hopefully it won't be too long. We'll have to get it back up and running again. So just get the flooring down tomorrow. And we're on. Once that's done, just got to work out what units I'm going to get to put the TV, TVs on there. And work out shelving and paintings and all the good stuff really. Nice, decorative, easy stuff. The clean job's always the best. Anyway guys, I'll check back with you tomorrow once I've done this wood flooring. And... Hopefully it'll look a lot nicer. Right guys, here we go. Flooring's down, all done. So not completely finished because I've got to put the scotch on the side. But well, we've got the main bit done. The TV's just over there because I've got nowhere to put it at the moment. Just put the bookcases in there just to get them out of the way so I've got some room. I've got to rejig the whole room to decide what I'm going to do with it yet. So yeah, sofa's going to stay over there anyway at some point. Put the, unit, the Mega Drive unit up there. Might leave it there, not too sure yet. So if this unit is going to go, I'm going to sell that because quite frankly it's of no relevance. I can't use it in this game room anymore. It's not going to fit with the CRT. Uh, so I've got to take the TV off the wall as well. But yeah, looking good. Flooring's down. Just need to put the edge in around it. Got the old scotch on. Then I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do with the bookcases and what I'm going to do with this wall. So basically I've got to work out a unit to come around that corner that has a CRT there and then a flat screen up against the wall. And then I want to put some shelving up there, probably, to display all the boxes. Uh, put some pictures on the wall. This wall, not too sure yet. Uh, I've got this whole wall to, to work with. So, I'm thinking I'll put a unit in there, put my vinyls in there, and I can put a record player over here. Or, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of different ideas. I'll put shelving, all kinds of things, really. But I don't know, we'll wait and see. At the moment, anyway, the game room's starting to take shape a little bit. So we've got the floor down, that's the main thing. It's absolutely bloody freezing today, by the way. Really cold. But yeah, as soon as I get any more updates, guys, I'll post a new video, let you know what's happening. And eventually, it'll all be done, I can do a room tour, but it's 
going to be a while. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps. And I'll see you again in the next update.